Aloha. Hello, happy, how are you today? My name is Paul Fletcher, and I'm a master teacher certified by Dr. and Master Jigong Sha. So, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and welcome to today's live stream. Today is a very interesting subject, and it's one that I'm guessing a lot of you will align with once you hear a little bit more about it. Uh, there's always a reason why I choose the subjects that I choose, so I'll go into that a little bit later today. Very grateful for all of your presence. For all those that are new, the subject matter is spiritual testing. What is it? How can you identify when you are actually in spiritual testing and how to survive it or how to pass your spiritual test? So uh, for a lot of us, life feels like a spiritual test but we'll talk a little bit more about that as we go. So if that subject matter sounds interesting to you, then I encourage you to stick around. For those of you that do not have the time to stick around, please consider <coughs> um, subscribing on my Facebook page and liking me, and then I will send you the information to watch this again. Of course, you can always come back to my Facebook page and watch it. But when you subscribe, you'll always know when I go live. So very grateful for your opportunity. I hope you stay. How was your weekend, everybody? I hope you had a great time this weekend. Mine was quite busy. I was busy working on my 12-week uh, uh, Awaken Your Spiritual Channels program, which I invite all of you to learn more about. You can go to my website to learn about that. That's listed above the video. So that starts September 3rd. Uh, it's an exceptional opportunity to awaken your spiritual channels and even possibly your third eye using some sacred and secret wisdom uh, techniques, practices, and uh, great opportunities. <clears throat> so I'm going to pause for a moment, acknowledge all of those that have joined us here today. Aloha and welcome Sarah. Welcome also to Brenda Hudson. Welcome Haley Donaldson. And aloha Susan. Welcome Kathy Arnold. Aloha Candy. Welcome Polly. And aloha Lisa. Welcome Jennifer Caress. And Mari Lewis. Welcome aloha. Welcome Kristen Rojas. And welcome Jose. Aloha Lisa, Namaste. Welcome also to Aspasia. Welcome Fuiba. And aloha to Angie. Welcome Kristen Strachan. Welcome aloha to Don Robinson and Trey Rustic. Aloha Elizabeth uh, Marie. And also aloha to Dennis de la Cruz. Welcome also to uh, Ingeborg. And aloha to Guillaume. Good to see you here, Guillaume. Welcome Tina Yates. I saw somebody saying they're tuning in from New Zealand. I see somebody saying from Miami. I know some people are up in the Toronto zone. Welcome, Michelle. <coughs> I see Australia on the page here. Welcome, Taryn Vick. Welcome, Chantal. Aloha, Lisa Zarniak. Aloha, Kate. And welcome also to Roseanne. Aloha, Anahira. And welcome also to uh, Denise de la Cruz. Hopefully I'm getting everybody. Welcome Janice Crosby. Aloha. Welcome also to Jose Patricio. And Aloha Anahira. I'm guessing by your last name you're the one from New Zealand. Welcome Becky Lafab. Welcome Isabel. Welcome Linda Jansen. Aloha Raven. Welcome Carol. Aloha to... Uh, Sherry Lee Hartree, and welcome also to Melinda Cullum. So thank you all for joining. We've got uh, Sydney checking in. We've got a lot of people checking in from all over the world. I know we've got uh, one from Alaska here. One Florida, Kissimmee. So that's one of the beautiful things about Facebook live stream is it is a worldwide service. So thank you, Facebook, for your service. Thank you to all of those uh, that are new. So for those that are new, give you a little background. My name is Master Paul. Uh, the, the word master in front of Paul is just a label that says I've done this for about 10 years and I'm very skilled in the information that I share. I'm a certified master teacher by the Tao Academy. And today, uh, as well as the entire year that I've been doing these live streams, it's all about helping you with your soul journey, assisting you. It is my service to humanity to assist each and every soul 
to further awaken. Uh, so if you enjoy this live stream, I, I encourage you to check out my, my website because I have uh, awakened spiritual channels, programs, things of that nature. Um, my service today is specific to passing spiritual testing. And before I go into the details of that, I will, of course, connect heart to heart, soul to soul, invite in all of the beings of light. And then we will chant the mantra of love, peace, and harmony to connect our hearts and souls. So let us join together. There's a hand mudra position called the soul light, soul service hand position, much like a prayer. We drop the left hand in front of the heart center and the right hand gently pointed towards heaven. So let us close our eyes and let us fully connect. I will invite in the beings of light. <clears throat> Dear all beings of light, our beloved creator, all layers of divine Tao and Source. They're the soul of our beloved spiritual mothers and fathers, including Jesus and Mother Mary, beloved Buddha, beloved Kuan Yin, Namo Amitofo, dear beloved angels, healing angels, archangels, masters and ascended masters, gurus, lamas, sifu, saints, our individual heavens teams, and our ancestors. We love you all, honor you, appreciate you. We ask for your presence today, your guidance, your blessings. We ask you to come to sit in each of our heart centers as appropriate. Bless us each to more fully develop our intelligences, our soul wisdom. Bless us to awaken our hearts. Please bless us to pass our spiritual testing and to recognize our spiritual testing. Please remind us to call upon you when we are in our testing. We are very grateful. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Dear the soul of love, peace, and harmony, source, soul song. Love you, honor you, appreciate you, respect you. We ask you to please turn on and we invite all souls and all universes to chant the source song of love, peace, and harmony. So I invite all of you to make a request to also chant along with me if you know this mantra. If you are new, this is a blessing. Make a request to heaven. Let us begin. Lu la lu la li Lu la lu la la li Lu la lu la li lu la Lu la li lu la Lu la li lu la Wo-ai-wo-shin-her-ling <coughs> I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. How, 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 thank you, thank you, thank you. So if you are interested in that song, if you connected to the beauty of it and its healing nature, I can encourage you to learn more. Uh, Kristen Rojas is, is uh, uh, you know my right hand and she's she's there for helping both of us so you always follow her chat you'll see her information which helps you to connect to the information that I share so welcome Amanda welcome also to Sarah Jessica uh, welcome to J class welcome Christina Vicol Aloha Christine Langnickel welcome to Lisa Carter Aloha Peter welcome Angie Kenny and aloha Ali, welcome uh, Melinda Ann Caravel. And aloha also to uh, Jose Daquila. 
Welcome to Giselle. And welcome also to Jasmine Gerardo. And aloha to Don Degado. And if I haven't mentioned your name, please forgive me. Uh, welcome to Lorraine Smith. So we have a big crowd today. Uh, that must mean that spiritual testing is a big thing in a lot of people's lives. Welcome also to um, Soraya, Don, and Anahira. I think I've mentioned you before, Anahira, but your name is unique. I like it. So today, the, the subject matter is spiritual testing. What is it? How do you know when you're in it? And how can you pass spiritual testing? Um, it has been said that if you are not in a place of joy, then you are in spiritual testing. So how many of us are always in that place of joy? Right? If you can put a percentage on it, what percent would you put on how much time you're in that place of joyfulness? So I can say that uh, not everybody is probably uh, always in that place of joy. Spiritual testing is also not always happening all the time. It is actually dependent upon your, uh, your commitment, your commitment to your soul journey. What do I mean by that? Each one of us that are watching today would not be here if we weren't awakened on some level, if we weren't um, in a place of looking for the fastest way out with the least suffering and the greatest uh, joy. The fastest way out of what? Well, the fastest way out of this, this world that seems to be filled with quite a bit of suffering. So we are souls having a physical experience. So in order to return to our Creator, we must go through the process of what's called purification. Purification does not have to be suffering. It really is dependent upon how thick is our negative mindsets, attitudes, beliefs, our ego, how um, big are the blockages in our heart, our greed, our anger, our uh, lack of wisdom. Uh, and then also our, our physical pains and sufferings, which are, are basically energy and matter blockages that are related to our karmas. In fact, all of the negative mindsets, attitudes, beliefs, ego, the attachments, all of the heart blockages, everything is really uh, uh, whittled down to our, our spiritual virtue and our spiritual debts. <clears throat> so we've got a few new folks here. I'm going to pause for a moment to make sure I acknowledge everybody. Uh, welcome also to... To Barbara Flores Smart, aloha. Welcome to Laina Augusto. And welcome to Liliana. Welcome to Katie Shaughnessy. And aloha Jean McDonald. And welcome to anybody else if I missed your name, forgive me. So when we are in um, the path of awakening, when we choose the awakening path, heaven, out of the love of the heart, out of their desire to assist us in our return process they give us opportunities to grow to purify to reach our greater potentials in reaching towards our greater potentials that means we must um, release those things that are inhibiting us from awakening to our soul journey our soul has a plan a purpose and an intention when it enters this physical realm that purpose plan and intention can only move forward when we release things that are inhibiting us. So what could be inhibiting you? Are you having relationship pain and suffering? Uh, are you having financial pain and suffering? Are you having physical pain and suffering? Are you lost on your soul journey? All of these are forms of not being in alignment with your soul. All of these are forms of spiritual testing. So in actuality, when you um, make a commitment to move forward on your soul journey, you, of your own accord, initiate your soul purpose. Now, uh, m my journey started right around the age of 18. I picked up a book off the shelf called The Treatise on White Magic, and um, I was off to the races from there. So you all have your own story about your process of awakening. The level of commitment you make to your awakening is what increases or levels out your suffering. The level of awakening that you have is what diminishes your suffering. So it's actually two sides of the yin-yang coin. I'll repeat it in a different way. So if you make a commitment to your soul journey, <clears throat> Anahira, you've asked twice, so I will go ahead and share for 
uh, many times I've stated what today is about. Today is about passing spiritual testings. Yes. Thank you, Kate Nicole. Uh, so spiritual testing is what this subject is about, okay? All right. So when we are, uh, when we make a commitment to our spiritual journey, we are in essence telling heaven, I am ready to release the suffering. I am ready to become uh, more like an enlightened being. People, our beloved Jesus, our beloved Buddha, all of the enlightened beings that have led the path prior, prior to us, they didn't get to that enlightened being, that loving, infinite, light-filled uh, bodies accidentally. They went through tremendous suffering. One of Buddha's famous quotes, life is suffering. Now, that does not have to be the truth. The other part of the yin yang coin is when we are awake, which means when we are watching life instead of being beat around by life, when we are awake and being a part of life, it does not show up as suffering. It shows up as, oh, I see you and I can work with you because I see you. So the two parts are, if you choose to wake up, heaven gives you more opportunities to wake up. Unfortunately, in your choosing to wake up, if you don't know what to look for in spiritual testing, a great deal of us get caught up in it. And then we get our tail kicked, and in getting our tail kicked, we sometimes fall off of our, um, our intention, our approach. So today, what I'm going to be focusing on is how to identify your spiritual testing, how, how to know what it looks like, uh, what to do when you identify it, and then how you can process through it and pass that test. So that's what you can expect today. Uh, welcome, Sahari. Welcome also to Helen Hudson. Welcome Julia Lawrence. And aloha to, uh, let's see if anybody else new jumped in here. Uh, Gina Vittoria. Welcome Melianne Holm. And I think I've got everybody. If I missed you, please forgive me. So, for some of you, uh, some of you are new. You are not familiar with soul readings. I am going to offer what's called a soul reading to give us deeper wisdom and information instead of just me talking from, from the 10 years of knowledge that I've gained from my teacher, Master Shah. Uh, a soul reading is just asking the soul world for information, okay? Uh, the soul world, <clears throat> Jesus, Buddha, God, all the beings in the soul world, the light beings, they're already in the, in the soul world as an enlightened being for a reason. They figured it out. So. I'm going to ask them to give us some information and let's see what they say, okay? So if that's of interest to you, you like the, the uh, information, I do offer soul readings individually on private sessions for just about any aspect of your life. <clears throat> so I encourage you all to close your eyes so that you can hear this message from your heart because that's usually where I'm speaking from when I connect. So give me a moment, please. To the soul of spiritual testing, the soul of the highest wisdom and knowledge that can be offered on this subject matter, the soul of the greatest and most important wisdom about how to identify it, what it is, and how to pass it. Love you, honor you, respect you. Could you please borrow my mouth, allow me to share your wisdom. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And I chant for a moment or two to clear my channels and then I'll share. How? <laughs> hey, I am honored to share deeper wisdom on the nature, power, and significance of spiritual testing. There are those who are called bodhisattvas on the journey 
who fear only one thing. They fear making a mistake in their thoughts, words, and actions, for they know what those mistakes lead to. The Bodhisattva is simply another word for one that is on the path of awakening. Each of you are on this path. When one makes the choice to move from the Maya of life, to awaken from the chaos, move inside, release the heart blockages, and realign to their Creator, they in essence are pruning their tree of all of their lives. Their tree of all of their lives carries with it many, many branches that touch many souls. Many of those lives touched are grateful some not so much. When a soul agrees to more fully develop itself in its awakening process, the branches of the tree grow the fruits of the wisdom that is needed to release the spiritual debts that, in essence, move one to a light being. The tree is nurtured by the soul world until such time as you have the strength wisdom and intelligence to deal with a condition that enters your life. When the condition enters your life, if you are aware and awake, you will see it as a spiritual test. You have been given the necessary tools, wisdom and power to address the test with love, compassion, forgiveness, and understanding of why the test came. Some fail and point the fingers at the ones that brought them the test. Some succeed and many waffle in the middle which is where a great deal of you reside at. Spiritual testing is living in a place of constant unfolding of your tree of life, of the constant releasing of those purposeful heaven sent opportunities to clear that which inhibits your heart and soul for more, from more fully opening. How do you know when you are in testing? It is simple. Are you suffering? When one is suffering, they have always choices. It is those that look outside and point outside 
that remain in suffering and do not pass the test. It is those that recognize the nature of the suffering as opportunity that move towards completing the purification. The advanced spiritual aspirant recognizes that these forms of spiritual growth mechanisms are loving blessings delivered by your soul and heaven for the purpose of developing your true nature. The advanced aspirant sees it coming and eventually moves to the place of the bodhisattva where they fear their thoughts, words, and actions so they do not make mistakes in their thoughts, words, and actions. This in turn brings a life of dramatically less spiritual testing. So as you can see, there are stages of the awakening process. I encourage each and every one of you to see everything as an opportunity to further awaken, to recognize that you are never given more than truly you can handle, and to call upon heaven to assist you in your purification process. It has been my honor to deliver this message at this time. How, 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 thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, so we've got some new folks joining in the middle of that flow. So hopefully you caught most of it and it made sense. I hope that uh, wisdom benefits you. Uh, that was Yen Wan Ye, who he's a, he's a very, very powerful saint uh, in the Akashic Records, leader of the Akashic Records. Welcome to Patrice. Welcome Deborah. Welcome also Adelia. Welcome Tony Seymour. Aloha Kathira. Welcome Abby Lynn. Aloha uh, to Megan Dyer. And welcome also to Isabel Rice. Stan Dabian. Welcome Megan. Welcome Shirley Schuster. Welcome Maria Franklin. Welcome Selena Brennan. Aloha Johnny. And welcome Crane. Welcome uh, to Elspeth. I think I've got everybody here. Welcome Jade. And aloha Lauren Kay. We have a big crowd today. Welcome also to Bonnie Mandeville. Aloha. Hello. <coughs> okay. So for all those that... Uh, are curious don't have time to stick around I encourage you to hit the uh, subscribe button and like my Facebook page you'll know when I go live you can also come back and watch the um, watch the live stream so today is a good example today of course everybody knows is an eclipse day it is a day in which the light has been temporarily covered it's a day in which we move from light to a little bit of darkness back to light from extrospection to introspection and then back to the light it can be viewed in many different ways those that practice light practices meditated to serve humanity so there are so many ways in which we can serve so back to the specifics now that we know what is spiritual testing, I'll go a little bit more into how you identify it. The flow information was, are you suffering? Well, in reality, most of us are suffering through a lot of what we call life. So we, it, ha it has to be a little bit more than that. Uh, you can be in a constant state of suffering because you don't have a spouse and you don't have any money and all you do is you go home and work and you're tired and you come home and you repeat. 
okay? I'm sure that there's a good chunk of you that fit that category. Other of us have various levels of that. So one could say, well, I'm always in spiritual testing, very possibly. So how do you move from that place to a place of not so much suffering? We want to practice the nature of the Bodhisattva, as was indicated to us before. The Bodhisattva watches their thoughts, words, and actions. The Bodhisattva knows that their thoughts, words, and actions impact their future. Therefore, they don't want to have more suffering. Therefore, they are more proactive. Okay? So, one of the ways in which you can um, recognize the suffering and how to move through it and pass the spiritual test is to start thinking a little bit more like those that are on the true enlightened path. Um, an example of that would be to take a look, and we'll do this with three different areas, uh, physical suffering, we'll do it with the financial suffering, we'll do it with the relationship suffering. I'm sure we all have versions of that in each of our lives. And so these sufferings have a direct association to your enlightenment. Why? Because they close your heart. The heart, the heart chakra, the seven chakras, the major energy centers, all of this has a direct association to your awakening, to your enlightenment, to your passing your spiritual testing. When we make unpleasant choices in all or any of our lifetimes, much like the flow said, the uh, branches of your trees, some of the branches touch and harm people. Some of the branches bring great, great, great wisdom to us and great virtue. Okay, So we have done good things in past lives. We have done some not so good things. And the life of the person waking up, suffering in their... Um, in their uh, spiritual journey is only occurring because of their lack of conscious activity and intelligence their ability to see it as the bodhisattva does they have to learn to look at the way life is throwing itself at them and address it differently we have to see that a bill on the table or that relationship difficulty or that health issue through different eyes when we can approach it from the nature, the mindset, the attitudes and beliefs of the aspirant, of the one on the spiritual path, we can change it entirely. Uh, very simply put, when you start addressing it with awareness of your thoughts, words and actions, doesn't matter how unpleasant that relationship in your life might be or pleasant, uh, doesn't matter what it is you're trying to do, when you address it from the eyes of the, of the Bodhisattva, you are in essence minimizing its impact in every future moment. You are minimizing the suffering that it potentially can bring you in every future moment. Okay? Now, my teacher uh, is Dr. Master Shah, and he brings to humanity some very simple practices. He honors everyone's perspectives and belief systems. He simply says that if you all have a soul, which regardless of a perspective or belief system, we all have souls, then all of our souls carry forth spiritual virtue and spiritual debts. So in the awakening journey, we are all awakening our souls in our own perfect and right processes. But we can benefit our perfect and right processes by applying simple foundational practices and wisdoms that work across the board uh, regardless of the perspectives uh, and beliefs that you carry. One of those is the power of forgiveness, for example. So the power of forgiveness can be applied uh, with our, uh, our own health issues. We can apply it with our financial blockages. We can apply it with relationship. Since there are a lot of new people, I am going to go into more detail with this. A lot of the veterans that have been watching me for a year already know this. It's additional wisdom and practice for you. That's good, okay? So we're gonna actually do a practice now. And I hope for those that have been watching, you do this practice because you will notice a significant shift after you are done, okay? So what I'm gonna recommend, if you are interested and comfortable in doing this, is following me through this practice as I will walk you through the four powers. Body power, mind power, which is creative visualization, sound power, which is chanting of a mantra, and soul power, which is connecting to release the blockages, okay? So everybody where you're at, sit up straight, <clears throat> bring your back away from the back of the chair uh, if it is not uncomfortable for you. This will allow the chi to flow through your body. Ideally, you want your feet flat on the floor with your heels touching. This is called body power. Uh, relax your shoulders, 
rest your palms for a little while we're going to move our palms in a minute but for a little while just rest them on your lower abdomen okay <clears throat> i want you to just breathe for a moment and let's be present to this very special energetic day breathe in breathe down into your lower abdomen release the thoughts the mindsets the beliefs the attitudes just release the day if it's a new day breathe into your new day breathe in the love and the light that is surrounding you the divine is surrounding you breathe in the divine breathe back out one more time bringing all the light into your lower abdomen very good Now I'll walk you through a forgiveness practice for these three areas of our lives so that we can pass our spiritual testing. You know what the blockage areas are, okay? <clears throat> so if comfortable, please repeat out of me, after me. Dear my beloved creator, my name is, you state your name, Paul Fletcher, Paul Fletcher, Paul Fletcher. I am deeply honored for the opportunity to receive your guidance, wisdom, and blessings in whatever way you can bring them into my life. I am deeply honored and grateful for the opportunity to further awaken and develop my heart center and to clear the blockages. I am grateful for the opportunity to pass my spiritual testing. Thank you. Continue to repeat. Dear the soul of all of the negative mindsets, attitudes, and beliefs I have ever held about myself or about others, please forgive me. Dear the soul of my ego, the need for being right, please forgive me. Dear the soul of my heart blockages, anger, greed, selfishness, lack of spiritual wisdom. Please forgive me. Dear the soul of all of the, of the physical sufferings I have experienced in my life, please forgive me for not recognizing you as spiritual testing. To the soul of all the financial blockages that I have experienced in my life. Please forgive me for not recognizing you as spiritual testing. Dear all souls of humanity, please forgive me if I, in this or any time, known or unknown, if I have created suffering in your life, if the branches of my tree in all lifetimes have brought harm or suffering to you through wrong thoughts, wrong words, wrong actions, if I have taken advantage of you financially, brought harm or suffering to your flourishing, I sincerely apologize from my heart. I do not wish to create financial suffering from any soul. To all of the souls, if I have caused you physical harm or suffering in your back, in your neck, <clears throat> in your knees, in your brain, in your heart, if I have caused you harm or physical suffering anywhere in your body in any lifetime, maybe I was unpleasant in more times. Whatever I may have done at any point in time, I most humbly and sincerely apologize. I do not wish this form of suffering upon any soul. Please forgive me. Dear all souls of humanity, if I have ever been in relationship with you in previous time, not loved you, not honored you, broke vows of love to you, disrespected you, dishonored uh, our relationship. If I have ever been a poor communicator, 
or false in a relationship if I have ever taken advantage of you in relationship I most humbly and sincerely apologize I would not wish those experiences upon anybody I recognize in every case that it is possible I have made these mistakes in previous time because I have experienced these spiritual testings in this life I now recognize all of these different forms of suffering as spiritual tests and I most humbly most sincerely apologize and ask your forgiveness I do not wish to make the same mistakes again I promise with your forgiveness that I will become more aware more wise in my heart and make better choices with my thoughts words and actions I will not make the same mistakes again dear my beloved creator and all of the beings of light who have come here today can you please bless me to release these spiritual blockages so that I may pass my spiritual testing faster and with less pain and suffering thank you so now uh, I will lead everybody in a mantra called love peace and harmony there are many new souls here today many new people this is a mantra you can learn a little bit more about it as we go but this is a healing blessing I have done uh, a five-minute chanting of this mantra and people reported their pain and suffering going down in half in five minutes so realize that this is not just me singing this is actually a huge 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 blessing so I will offer this uh, mantra as a blessing to assist each and every one of you to pass your spiritual testing and to release these blockages if you know the song I encourage you to chant with me if you do not I encourage you to keep your eyes closed visualize the beings of light blessing you clearing blockages in your heart center clearing the blockages as just mentioned stay with this practice it will serve you well <clears throat> and I will make an invocation now dear the source soul song of love peace and harmony transmitted to all souls please turn on please especially turn on and all of the souls watching or listening now on this live stream bless each and every one of them to release as many blockages as possible that is inhibiting them from passing their spiritual testing please bless them to further develop and awaken their spiritual opportunities I'm very grateful thank you blessing begin Lula Lula Li Lula Lula La Li Lula Lula Li Lula Lula Ha Li Lula Lula Ha Li Lula I wash in the morning. I I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and <coughs> harmony. Love, peace and harmony dear my love peace harmony jindan my love peace harmony dao don please turn on please subdivide your souls radiate go to each and everybody watching this live stream 
listening to this podcast. Bless them as appropriate to clear their blockages. Lula, lula, li. Lula, lula, la, li. Lula, lula, li, lula. Lula, li, lula. Lula, li, lula. I was in early. Oh, I ran, ran, Choose one area of your life that has the greatest blockages. Specifically, ask forgiveness if you had brought the same blockages upon any soul in any point in time. I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. Lula, lula, li. Lula, lula, la, li. Lula, lula, li. Lula, li, lula. <coughs> lula, li, lula. Oh, I was in the ring. Oh, I ran, ran, lay. Wang, li, hi, rung, har, mu, Shang Song I ping on the sea Song I ping on the sea I love my heart and soul I love all humanity Join hearts and souls Together, love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. Everybody silently repeat after me, if it is comfortable. Dear the Source Soul Song of Love, Peace, and Harmony. <coughs> I love you, honor you, and deeply appreciate your unconditional service to my soul. Could you please stay with me? Stay with my soul. Could you please turn on 24-7? Bless me and my soul journey to continue to pass my spiritual testing. Please bless me to further develop and awaken my spiritual awakening. Please bless me to see the spiritual tests and change my perspective to one of it being an opportunity. Please bless me to clear the blockages as quickly as possible with the least suffering as possible. I am very, very grateful. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So I encourage all of you in your heart to bow your head nine times to your beloved Divine Creator. Thank you, 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 thank you. 
<coughs> okay, so if anybody had third eye images, please share. Anybody had any experiences? They felt heat, vibration, sweating, uh, any uh, messages they might have received, any aha moments from this practice. It was a very short practice, but it, short does not mean it wasn't very powerful. The Source Soul Song, and I'll, I'll keep chatting until I see some text. The short, uh, the Source Soul Song of Love, Peace and Harmony, Kristen has posted in her text boxes how you can actually download that complimentary. The copyright has been re removed from the song. It is encouraged actually that you chant it <coughs> all over the world at all times because it is a natural uh, decompression tool. It is literally a natural stress reliever. It literally naturally self-clears our karma blockages. Our karma blockages are what causes uh, our imbalances. It is what creates our spiritual testing. Spiritual testing is heaven releasing little by little those things that we need to learn, those blockages that we need to release so that we can level up and move forward. That is what spiritual testing is. We are not given that test until such time as we have the wisdom, the tools, and the power to deal with it. Today's live stream is one example of that. So know that you always have the opportunity to pass that test. If you choose to apply the tools, that's a whole nother thing. But the Source Soul Song of Love, Peace and Harmony is one of the great tools that can assist because when we constantly keep it playing in the background or chant it to serve others, what happens is you are far, far, far uh, in less suffering. Very simply, you're self-clearing your karma by doing so. So naturally, you're going to have less suffering. So it just makes sense in so many ways. So um, please share. I'm, I want to read some of your comments. <clears throat> Tracy Lee says, thank you. It was beautiful. I'm feeling a lot of ease. Shelly, she sweated a bit at first, and she still sees an eye, an eye looking at her. Thank you. Um, Lori says her middle is on fire. That would be her kungong, lower abdominal area. Uh, Michelle says warm and heartfelt. Thank you. Beautiful. It's supposed to be heart opening. The purpose of this was heart opening. Lori McMillan, her third eye is vibrating and solar plexus chakra is vibrating. Big pain shooting in the left ear, says Sujin, and she's quite warm, feeling aligned and straight in the heart. Tears and tears. Uh, only getting bits and pieces, no data. Uh, warming and light, says Diane. <coughs> Welcome and namaste, David. And Lori says she's very hot, okay? And so uh, this, is, this was only a couple minute blessing. Now, um, Katie says she saw golden light, feeling very relaxed. It is a very relaxing song. Why do you think the monks meditate? Why do you think the great masters meditate? Do you think it's easy to operate in this life, uh, you know, with the rampantness? The, the dark side operates in a very intelligent way. They keep us occupied with our cell phones, with TV, with radio, with internet, with news, with fear, with terror alerts. Anything they can do to keep this noggin up here occupied, that's dark side, okay? What does anybody on the light journey do? They separate from that. They do less of it as much as possible. They spend more time in nature. They meditate. They do things that awaken the heart and the soul. So the light worker must make conscious choices to move away from those things that darkness puts in place to keep you from the light that keeps you from awakening. Because it's when we spend more time in these other areas that we are um, unable to pass our spiritual testing. It's when we spend more time in light activities, we are able to pass our spiritual testing. So it's actually very simple in many ways. Uh, so Michelle, I encourage you to play Love, Peace and Harmony uh, all the time and have it in your ear when you're trying to meditate. It's almost impossible. Another uh, practice is keep your mind in your Ming Men point. Okay, your Ming Men point is directly behind your navel straight to that dip in your back. It's at that dip in your back. But if you put your mind there and you have Love, Peace, Harmony playing, very easy to stay in a meditative place. Okay? So thank you also, Master Ran, for your comments. Uh, thank you, everybody, for your comments about the energy moving. Um, 
Yeah. <clears throat> so before we go, I'd like to offer a calling to everybody. Uh, I am on September 3rd doing the first of a 12-week series on awakening your spiritual channels. This will include the five major energy centers, the heart chakra, the third eye, the kundalini, uh, the Zhu Cha, which is an intelligence center, and lower Dantian, and the seven chakras. It will also include the energy and matter channel. One teaching each week, dedicated practice, really aggressive practice, to clear the blockages. All of these spiritual uh, blockages we've been talking about today, they are stuck in our energy body. This is how karma shows up. It shows up in our chakras. It shows up in our energy centers. It in brings problems to our health. It brings problems to our relationship. It brings problems to our finances. And when you do uh, this program, you are literally self-clearing these spiritual debts at a very uh, aggressive and advanced level. So it's almost impossible to get to the end of that program and not feel a bunch, bunch, a bunch, a bunch of light, lighter. Okay, so I encourage you to uh, check into that program. Um, it's very reasonable for the 12 weeks. And you will, of course, receive blessings each and every week. Um, there will be opportunities for very advanced blessings, but those are always just opportunities. Okay, and the link is in Kristen's post that she puts there. It's also, you can go to my website listed above, uh, asoulhealer.com. And so uh, if you uh, are concerned about the timing can I watch it I don't know about my timing to be live it is recorded and so you can watch it at any time I'll also be doing a during the week uh, phone call practice so that what we learn during that week you will practice on your own but we'll also practice as a group because group practice brings a great deal more power to uh, the results okay so I encourage you to check into that um, so uh, I believe that's all for today. I could go on this subject matter of spiritual testing for a long, long time, but uh, this is sufficient information for today. I thank you for the opportunity to serve you. All of the new folks that have joined, thank you for joining. Thank you for staying. If you enjoyed this, hit the subscribe button. Uh, also friend me. And I look forward to serving you uh, in the future. We will see you tomorrow, same time, same place. Bye-bye, everybody. We'll see you then.